Hello Spring 2019 Communications 181 students. This is Introduction to Public Speaking. My name is Dr. Jacob Bryant and I will be your instructor for this online course. As you can imagine, taking an online course is very, very challenging to begin with because we don't have any kind of face-to-face -face interaction. And probably one of the more difficult courses to take online is this one, just due to the nature of the class being public speaking. So I will kind of go over how we will orchestrate that within this course. And I think you all will absolutely love and enjoy this course by the time it's over. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself to begin. Again, I am Dr. Jacob Bryant. I teach sixth grade science at College View Middle School in Owensboro, Kentucky. That's my full-time job. I do this on a part-time basis, but this was always my dream uh, from the minute I took uh, COM 181 in the fall of 2010 while I was still a senior in high school. I wanted to teach public speaking classes. Uh, however, I knew that there wasn't enough of a market for me to do that full-time, and so my passion lies in teaching middle school students as well so I decided to do that and then do this uh, at, on a part-time basis and so I teach the online section uh, each semester and I am just flattered uh, that they've asked me to do this year after year and I am honored to be your instructor as I guide your speech development. I am married as you can see here in the photo my wife Laura uh, we got married about two years ago and she is a full-time school library media specialist, so she's also involved in education. I uh, enjoy watching Kentucky Wildcat basketball and football now. They've done, done pretty, pretty well in that area, too. I'm a Dallas Cowboys football fan. I enjoy traveling to Walt Disney World. That's probably one of my most favorite uh, destinations to go to, so I hope there are some other Disney fans in the class. And... I think that um, my philosophy on teaching this class is just that I'm here to help guide you in your speech development and help you to find your voice. Because as Mark Twain says, there are only two types of speakers in the world, the nervous and the liars. And I think all of us are nervous when we have to take the microphone or, or speak in front of people. Uh, but that's always been kind of a natural gift for me. And so I've found it just as my calling to reach out to you and help guide your speech development as you move forward in your professional careers. In terms of my credentials to teach this class, I graduated from OCTC in 2012 with an Associates of Arts degree, followed that up in 2013 with a degree in middle grades education, which has landed me where I teach full-time at College View Middle School. In 2014, I graduated with my master's degree in education. In 2017, I graduated with my EDD, my educational doctorate from Oakland City University, uh, giving me that DR title in front of my name. And then I actually graduated later on with an education specialist degree to be a school principal, uh, which is a calling that I feel like I'll experience within the coming years as well. And so those are my credentials for teaching this course. All of my Com education work was done at the University of Southern Indiana. So for those of you that are interested in a master's in communications after you finish your bachelor's degree, I strongly uh, recommend them as a, a close by institution that uh, will definitely take what you've learned here and stretch you that much further in your communications development. I've right into the syllabus. As you can tell, I have designed the syllabus to kind of be a little bit more engaging for you to give you what you need to know first and then some of the extra stuff in the back. So you'll notice that this is an online class. Uh, we meet everything will be done on Blackboard. Uh, my email address here is listed. That is the very best way to get a hold of me as my office hours are virtual. If you and I ever need to meet for office hours, we can set up a Google Meet and you just email me in with the time and we'll set up a, a Google Meet where you and I can meet face to face. It's like Skype uh, and discuss anything that you may have questions about with the course. But again, my goal for you taking this class is that you will develop into the very best public speaker that you can be and overcome one of the human being's most greatest fear, and that is speaking in public. So I will tell you that, yes, this is an online class, and taking public speaking online is something at first I thought was almost unfathomable just because how do you 
engage in public speaking whenever you're in an online environment. So you will do recorded speeches that you will upload to YouTube and then submit via Blackboard. But in order for this to be a true public speaking class, you must find an audience of five to eight people, and more is fine. If you want to speak to more, that is fine, but usually five to eight is the, is the minimum. And so we, we really can't go any lower than five. The magic number is five. They have to be of kindergarten age or older. So they need to be of school age, a child that's at least capable of sitting and listening to a speech of some kind or older in order for them to count as one of your five people. And you will show that audience in every video. And I'll kind of talk to you about how to do that in a few minutes. Uh, but you must have access to five to eight people to speak to. Think about places where you have people that you might could get together. Sometimes uh, going even to an elderly care facility is, is a great way to get an audience too. So just think about how you're going to create an audience of five to eight people so that you can be successful in all of your speeches. The required textbook for this class is the Art of Public Speaking 11th edition by Stephen Lucas. You can elect to get the paper copy. I'll show you what it looks like. So the paper copy of the Lucas text looks something like this, or you can access it online through McGraw-Hill Connect, and you'll see the, the little link inside the Blackboard page to access it online uh, with that account if you're familiar with Connect. The, again, the other required material is having those five to eight or even more people present to watch your speech and they need to be you need to have them on a regular basis five times you will have to get these people together to have this speech so my recommendation has always been just go ahead and set up based on the course calendar what days you're going to have to get certain people together and put that on your calendar now so that this is not a burden on you as the class goes get those people lined up who's going to be there when they're going to be there and make that happen um, but they, again, must be of kindergarten age or older. Um, what else? Well, uh, you'll be uploading a video of yourself. You must show your audience both at the beginning and the end. There cannot be any kind of like little fade or transition. You know, I know sometimes it's, it's a little unprofessional saying, you know, here, here's my audience and you have to hand them off the phone and they have to reposition the camera or whatever it's okay I understand I would rather know that they're there that way than think that you recorded the speech in front of a camera and then tried to clip in an audience um, I've had students do that before it has not ended well for them uh, and, and I don't mean to sound harsh but if you just record yourself in front of a camera there was no point in you taking this class it's called public speaking for a reason okay uh, and so your your footage is raw what you upload about your speech is raw now I'm not gonna know if you tried doing it three or four times over because you can upload whatever raw footage you want but um, the, the footage you upload must be raw. I must be able to see that audience at the beginning and the end. There should not be any transitions or fades or editing of any kind. From the sequence where you show your audience at the beginning till you show them at the end is what I should see. So no editing of any kind inside that video. So now we'll talk just a little bit about how you're evaluated in this course, your assignments. Really not a lot here. Uh, this is a very straightforward course. It's broken down into eight modules that are two weeks apiece. You have 50% of your grade is those speeches, just those five recorded speeches that you'll do, uh, each one of those being worth 100 points. You will have outlines that you'll do to help you prepare for those speeches. These are not scripts. These are not scripts. These are not things that you'll sit there and read from. Okay, That's called reading. That's not called public speaking. Okay, uh, You will have these outlines that you'll do that will help kind of prepare you and, and engage you in research about topics that you're interested in for your speeches. The other things that are left then, uh, there is a midterm. It is 25 multiple choice questions. It is timed, but you can take it as many times as you want until you get the grade that you're satisfied with. Then there is the final exam. It is worth 100 points. It has 50 questions. There will be a study guide in the module before the final exam and you will be able to do that study guide that will help prepare you for the final exam. But again, the final exam, 50 multiple choice questions. It will grade itself automatically, and just like the midterm, it is timed, and you will 
have as many opportunities to complete it as you'd like to get your highest possible grade. Lastly is those personal skills. And I think this is probably a good time for me to stop and talk to you about those and in, in what these personal skills look like. In the online environment, the personal skills gets evaluated a lot on just your email communication with me. Also, doing the study guide, completing the syllabus quiz after this video, but um, also the, the the emails that you send to me. you got to remember, you're not texting your best friend whenever you email me. You're emailing me like you would your supervisor, okay? So it needs to be a very formal email. And I've put an example of this in Blackboard, and here's kind of an example here. You know, you would enter in the email in the subject line. Make sure you put exactly what it is you're referring to. Why are you emailing me? Maybe you had a zero on uh, speech one, zero on speech one, or question about speech one. Question about speech one is what would go in there. Have a greeting. Hi, Dr. Bryant, comma, okay? My name is so-and-so, and I'm in your COM 181 class that meets online, okay? I noticed on Blackboard that I received a blank score for this, and I wanted to follow up and make sure that this was maybe made an error, or what, what did I not do correctly? That is how you would email, and then you would, you know, have a thank you or some type of sincerely at the end with your name. That's how you send a formal email. That's how you'll do it in the business world, and since this is a communications class, I think it's very important that you learn and pick up on this now. But those things like sending an email correctly, adhering to due dates, those are all things that will guide that personal skills score. So again, I've talked to you about speech outlines a little bit already. They're worth 40 points apiece. These are an outline. It's not a script, okay? You will not read from a script because that is called reading, all right? you will deliver a speech and an outline is there to kind of guide you of your main points and you'll see some examples of what those look like inside blackboard again you have five speeches okay uh, you will use youtube to upload those speeches if you do not feel comfortable using youtube learn it okay there are some how to's in blackboard and you can also do some google searches on uh, online about how to use youtube you will upload just a URL to the YouTube into the Blackboard site. That way there's never any upload problems because all you're uploading is about 15 letters. And then it's real easy for me to call up the video online to where I can watch it and give you a score uh, with quick feedback. So you will, you will get very comfortable using YouTube five times for this course as you upload your speeches. Okay. I've already talked to you about the, the midterm and the final a little bit, so I'm, I won't go into any more detail about it. Again, 25 questions on the midterm, 50 on the final. Retake them as many times as you like to get your highest possible score that you would like. Um, and then finally, those personal effectiveness skills. We just talked about those already. Uh, completing the syllabus quiz and the study guide are, are also a part of that personal effectiveness skills and your communication back and forth with me. Okay. Uh, here is the course calendar. You'll notice that everything is due on Wednesday midnights. Every due date in this class will be a Wednesday midnight. Okay, So if you can just kind of remember that this class moves very, very seamlessly, every week, Wednesday midnight, you should have something due. There's a couple cases where you have a week off, but for the most part, every Wednesday night you'll have something due, whether it's an outline or a video or a test. You will pretty well have something due every Wednesday midnight. Just a couple things on the assignment calendar. You'll notice the Wednesday, the date, what's due over here, and the chapters that you can read in the textbook to help you. I've also made lectures online that you can watch, which is kind of me discussing the chapter in more detail. I highly encourage you to watch those to help you get ready for all of the different assignments. You'll notice spring break is built into the assignment calendar eight total modules that you'll complete with pretty well an assignment due almost every Wednesday except a couple exceptions where you'll have some time off. Uh, if you remember, no late work is accepted in this class and you must complete all five speeches in order to pass. I cannot give you a grade in this class if you do not complete all five speeches. Anyway, that is the syllabus video. 
please email me with any questions you have about the course. I'm looking forward to having you all. You're going to do a wonderful job.